If you have a halogen light bulb for your headlights, then as you can tell, the LEDs make a big difference even when the headlight housing is very cloudy. pretty poor condition so I'm gonna put one bulb in from the new bulb to give you guys a difference in the daytime and then tonight I uh, will uh, replace the other one so you guys can see can you guys tell which one I've done so whoever did this <laughs> didn't know what they were doing when they changed the light and I spoke to uh, my fiance's younger brother and he said he had someone do it for him, and he said every three months he has to get a new light bulb. And I said, okay, there's something wrong going on here. You shouldn't have to change your light bulb every three months. So the fact that this wasn't in there correctly, was shaking in there, is one reason why this would have went bad. But the other reason most likely is because of the condensation that's getting in there, the water when it rains. So whoever put it in here didn't know what they were doing. The other side, when I took it off, the light bulb had a lot of a lot of white powder on it and I actually thought initially I said how did battery acid get on there but I was like wait a minute he didn't have a rubber seal on there even though it was sitting in there fit and snug it didn't have a rubber seal so this one here no rubber seal as well so this is a plug-and-play system this plugs directly into your current harness and this replaces the light bulb As you can tell, the LEDs make a big difference even when the headlight housing is very cloudy. If you have a halogen light bulb for your headlights, then upgrading to a high output light bulb, like LEDs, should be the first modification you do to your vehicle. This car is old, with over 200,000 miles, but today she is getting some love. The LEDs in the blue box are for fog lights. They will be installed on a Lexus and will be shown in the next video. And we're in the daytime, but you can see clearly there's a difference between the LED and the halogen. Hey, I realized after checking out some of the footage that I forgot to go ahead and mention where you can purchase this product for your vehicle. So the website is in the link in the description below and also if you have a Nissan Versa, just click in that other link and it'll take you straight to Amazon. This Nissan Versa where I put this light bulb into is a 2009 Nissan Versa. So if you know your year is the same model as a 2009, you can just go on the Amazon link and purchase your version. I mean, and purchase this bulb for you. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Thank you very much. And for those who have subscribed, leave a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Okay, to access the bulb, you should see those green wires. And there's some sort of tape. I don't know where this tape is coming from. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. On the passenger side, you know, this is the light bulb. Directly right there. So our hands have to come around here. So let's just fish our hands around this way. And you should be able to see. You should be able, let me see. There we go. This right here. And pull. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Here we go. You just pull on it. Okay, she's almost out. Okay, so this is the connector. That's the connector. Here we go. Okay, so there, there's two pins. Here we go. Push them in, pull them out. Push in towards the front and then pull out. And push in, then move to the opposite direction away from the center and then it'll come out. So you'll see it that way. And this is the bulb right here.
halogen. Let's go ahead and do the other side. So now the halogen is covered up and the LED. And you can clearly see a difference. So for everyone who has an old car, at minimum, you should change your headlights for safety reasons. Sound like any new brakes. <laughs> yeah. Back in the days when you had to install something like this, it was a bunch of contraptions you had to put together.